Hello everyone, in the previous episode we implemented Firebase Authentication with Google. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Today we will learn how to implement Apple Sign-in using Firebase in Flutter. First let's go to Firebase console. In the Authentication section click on the Sign-in method tab. Next click Add new provider, select Apple and toggle it to Enable. Next let's add Sign-in with Apple capability to our project. Open the iOS folder in Xcode, go to Sign in and Capabilities tab and click on Add Capability, search Sign in with Apple. Now let's ensure that Sign in with Apple capability is our to our app ID. Open the Apple Developer page. Within the Apple ID configuration, scroll down and verify that Sign in with Apple is checked. To implement Sign in with Apple, we will need to install the Sign in with Apple package. Copy the command flutter pop add sign in with Apple. Let's go back to our project and run the command in the terminal. With the configuration done, we can start implementing sign in with Apple. First, let's define a function named sign in with Apple that returns an optional user in our repository. Next, implement the sign in with Apple method in Firebase out repository. To create the Apple credential, use Sign in with Apple, get Apple ID credential. This function requires a scope parameter. This allows us to request additional information from the user upon sign up. This method returns an authorization credential Apple ID. Then create the Firebase credential using the authorization credential IDs and use this credential to sign in with Firebase. Create a user variable to store the user from user credential user. If the user is null, throw an exception. If the user is not null, return the user. Grab the code inside a try cache block to handle the exceptions. I will add the code to handle the signing with Apple authorization exceptions. Finally, create a function named signing with Apple in out service. The returning value could be either a failure or an optional user. We are ready to implement the sign in with Apple. Go to the on Apple preset function, call the sign in with Apple method and store the result. This variable will store either a failure or an optional user. Use fall to handle both cases. In case of failure, display a snack bar showing the failure message. In case of success, if user is null, return. If user is not null, Display the success snack bar and redirect the user to the home page. Now let's test the implementation. Click on the Apple icon. You can choose between share or hide your email. Then click continue with password and sign in with your password. Finally, let's go to the Firebase console and navigate to the authentication section. You should see the new user created. Let me know in the comments which other topics you would like to see in the future videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next time.